No more slacking. Back to against the storm. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm enjoying this game, but I feel like I'm also nearly done with the game. Because it's like, you know, more of the same. And while I enjoyed the more of the same part of the game, uh, I've got a lot of other games I want to check out as well at some point. And I've already dumped 50 hours into this one. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, quite literally, 49.7 hours on Against the Storm. It's, uh, it's been a little bit. Anyways. Gonna keep playing for a little bit longer. I have gotten to a prestige right now, I think it's prestige 9. That is supposed to be a significant, the, yeah, a very significant difficulty spike. So, we'll see. I can get a load of loaves of bread now, though. 112 in this area. I honestly think I should take that. I will go to the Royal Woodlands. I like the Woodlands. Can I get 112 over here? No, I can't. This would make them connect though, which I think is probably superior. Let's go over here. Scarlet Orchard. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So Prestige 9. Apparently this one is kind of difficult. So goods are worth less to traders. So this one is obviously kind of difficult because I rely on trading a lot. I don't really know exactly how I'm going to reliably pull that off, but I guess I'll try. Um, there's copper ore in the trees over here, as well as pigment. Okay, fair enough. Traders. Not traitors. Traders. Um, okay. I think this is the obvious one, right? Three wildfire essence, 35 parts, two newcomers. Yep, we're gonna pick the uh, the dwarves over here. I mean, they're definitely not dwarves, but they are though. If anyone is unfamiliar with the game, feel free to let me know. I will try my best to explain it. It's honestly pretty self-explanatory, but initially it can be a little bit confusing. Uh, let me just add to the stream title real quick. Prestige, difficulty, prestige. Nine. Okay. Feeling good about it. It's been a couple days though since we last played, so. My God, I've got so many different negative modifiers right at the start already. Well, here we are. I watched Loco play this game for far too long and you still don't understand much. That's okay, dude. I like the commitment. Why is there so much distance between my ancient hearth and my main warehouse? Haha, <laughs> chat. Did they update the game? What's going on right now? Change makes me uncomfortable, okay? I don't want change. I think they updated the game. There was a little update this morning when I downloaded it. So, I guess... Hmm. They may have updated a couple things. Alright, so this is a, um... This is a roguelike city builder. So basically what we do is we build a city. We can win by filling in the blue bar before the red bar fills in, because when the red bar fills in, I lose. The way we fill in the blue bar is two, two ways, okay? First off, we get tasks. We'll get those in a minute. Completing those tasks allows me to gain one of the little notches over here on that progression bar. The second way in which I can gain prestige, so the, the blue bar, or reputation, whatever they call it, uh, is by making my citizens very happy. So the citizens are over here. I've got nine beavers right now and two harpies. They have a bunch of different needs, and if I fulfill the needs, they become they become happier. The thing is, the world is also trying to kill you. So there's a bunch of different modifiers here. So first off, I've got this one. This one is nice. After each storm comes a time of peace and regrowth. So there's cycles, there's three seasons, the third season is storm. 
That's the one where shit hits the fan. So after each storm comes a time of peace and regrowth. Gain 0.5 reputation point for every dangerous or forbidden glade event completed during the drizzle season. Fair enough. Then, depending on the hostility of the forest, which goes up by any of these listed things, so by time, but also by the amount of woodcutters that I've got and the amount of hearts that I've got, um, the hostility may very well be modified. When I reach level 1 over here, uh, the villagers with this effect have soaked clothes and get a minus 5 penalty to their resolve. To prevent this, I can provide them housing, fair enough. Missing even a single meal in the harsh climate can be deadly. If villagers don't have anything to eat during the break, they will gain two stacks of the hunger effect. Fair enough. Blightrot cysts consume the storm's energy and become more resilient. Burning cysts take five seconds longer. Okay, that's an important one. And then this one over here with four. Blightrot contaminates everything you send to the citadel. During the storm, the Queen's Impatience grows 5% faster for every Blightrot cyst in your settlement. Okay, so I really need to get to burning those as soon as possible. Blightrot is something that, you know, disables structures and messes things up. Anyways, gotta go ahead and assign people right here to these camps. Now we'll get going. If someone has any questions, feel free to let me know, but honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory. The roguelite in the game uh, comes from the fact that you don't really know what you're gonna unlock. So I can choose three buildings. There's a bunch of buildings you get right from the start. Some of these, I think, have changed colors or something. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, some of these um, are, yeah, available early on. However, all of the other buildings that come after this, I need to unlock by choosing new buildings that are unlocked um, every time you get to one of those blue notches on the progression bar. It makes more sense after a little while, but yeah. So these are also RNG. These are cornerstones. I don't like these. Gain three mushrooms for every 10 grain. I think I'll pick the peasant supplies instead. Receive three packs of provisions for every new villager. Since we're still super early, I think that's a little bit better. How do you win for good? So every settlement you complete, you get a certain amount of resources. And you can use those resources to make the next run you do better. You can upgrade the main citadel. Yeah, they definitely changed some of the graphics. Huh. So changing the... Or, or upgrading the Citadel makes people happier. And uh, overall makes things a little bit nicer. Okay, so these are the orders. Completing these orders fills in one little notch on the progression bar at the bottom. So these are super important. A harvester's camp, a stonecutter's camp, and 10 breaks. I can exchange that for these rewards as well as one of the reputation points. Early on though, I think more people is much better, so I'll go with that one. Doing more trade routes. Mm, okay. This one's not really reasonable. More people, yes. And I'll do glade events. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so all follow-up runs after making the Citadel more powerful will be a little bit easier. So after we complete this, <coughs> excuse me, after we complete this run, we should make a, we should take a moment as well to upgrade the Citadel again. So I do that at the end of every run. It's little things like, for example, the Queen's Impatience goes up 2% slower every run or something like that. But obviously it adds up over time. I will definitely play Hades too, yes. They changed the shape and the look of a lot of these buildings, didn't they? Yeah, they have little wheels right now too on the woodcutters camps. Interesting. Yeah, so this game is still in early access. They're still updating a lot of things. Okay, so... We'll need shelter. Speed up the game.
Uh, I will definitely play Half-Life 3 when it comes out, guy in the chat. Any moment now, right? Should be pretty soon. I want to pick my blueprints for structures after I complete the first dangerous glade. So these glades you dig into and they have randomized events. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Harpies do become less obnoxious when you get more and more upgrades for them, yeah. The harpy houses are super important. Harpies, harpies in general are a little annoying, actually. Same for the lizards, actually. The lizards are also kind of annoying. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna open this already, because sometimes you do get a little lucky. I want to try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the small farm. Vegetables and grain. Hold up. Um, okay. Forager's camp. Plantation is awesome. But yeah, this is what I was hoping for. The workshop. Workshop is really good. Can't make it early on, but it'll help us quite a bit. And... Hmm. We can either go lumber mill or weaver. I don't know which one is better. I think lumber mill probably lines up a little bit better for us. But I already picked a workshop just now, so it's not super important. I guess I'll pick it. Okay. So, storm is coming pretty soon. The first storm is usually not that big of an issue. Okay, so here's a tool shop, which is usually why I wanted to wait, but... This one is not something I would have picked anyways. So that's a free structure. There's also a forsaken crypt over here. Hmm, that is very unlucky. I do not have any resources to... Wow, that's actually the worst luck I've had here. I have not got any way to solve that. Um, so not solving this within 10 minutes... ...means that all my gold and wine will be lost, but I also get one impatience point. The impatience points are actually GG. I don't think I can really run this. This would be incredibly expensive to buy from a trader at this point in the game, because they just... Hmm. I don't have even the structures to make any of these things. Problem is with redoing is that you can't actually reliably get it done either, because there's cycles between the storm. I guess I'll have to try and get it sorted as soon as quick, uh, as soon as possible, but that is not very easy. No, you're not encouraged to constantly redo, actually. Uh, main reason is that you don't want to mess up the full cycle. Um, so that is the crude work shop over there. I'll also make the makeshift post. Not as important, but still helpful. Yeah, so there's cycles where you build a bunch of villages. And... The more you, um, you redo, the less your overall results will be there. It's a little confusing to explain, but... Um, one thing I definitely need to get done, though, is... A trading post. Otherwise, there's just no way for me to get anything. I will go ahead and make like 15 of these. Actually, I probably only need like 10. Yeah, you can only make a certain amount of villages per cycle. And you get bonus rewards for how well you did during the cycle overall. So there's like four teams. 
So they're not really encouraging you to just restart when you have a bad beginning. Which is kind of clever, actually. So the first trader will be here very soon. Yeah, three minutes until Zork is going to be here. I'm going to go ahead and move my dudes out of the woodcutting camp. And we'll spend a little bit of time here as well. How much wood do I have? 115. Um, we can probably up our global resolve by making at least one of these decoration things. One, two, three, four. There you go. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, unlucky, unlucky. There's no way I can buy any of this. Maybe Zork sells it, but I don't see how I would have enough gold to get any of this done. Would I be playing StarCraft 3? No, I only play good games. And real ones. Real ones too. Maybe I can salvage this by setting up a warehouse over here or something, but... I'll have to try. Okay, so new people. That's important. So lizards are gonna be our final group here. Fair enough. Um... Frequent caravans is good, but like, hmm. Not feeling this so far, guys. This is one of the risks of uh, cutting into one of those dangerous glades early, I suppose, but... Okay, here's Zork. So what I need from Zork... Dude, it's seven and a half minutes too. Ay ay ay. 30 incense, 30 scrolls, 30 oil. He doesn't sell any of it. Did I just get memed hard? Wow. Zork actually usually doesn't sell this, does he? he you, this, is, this is more of a Sahilda... Uh, he doesn't even have any of those tools to open up any of those. Oh my god. Wow. Very unlucky, dude. I think they changed a bunch of stuff up, guys. Um. I mean, I can buy a couple things just for trading purposes, I guess, but... I'm not really that low on food yet. Whoa! Parts don't sell for nearly as much as they used to. Whoa, they've made some significant changes to the game. I don't like this. Okay. I can sell a couple of these items now, so I guess I'll be getting some gold that way, but... It's because of Prestige 9? Whoa, it's that much of a difference? 
It's like 50% for the things I'm trading? If you don't do trading, though, you're set up for a lot of RNG, you know? Trading kind of removes some of the RNG, because some items you just will not be able to produce reliably yourself. Unless I'm mistaken. Um, okay, so I've got the workshop that I really want to make. I think that's probably top priority. Oh, I guess they leave a nice little space over here for some of the big boy structures later. Yeah, this one is top priority. Um, I think I'm already kind of fucked here, guys. Not a whole lot I can do. So this thing is going to trigger multiple times. And I have nothing that is even on the horizon to try and get rid of this. So that's just, yeah, plain unlucky. Got a lot of trading here for the trading post. These numbers don't seem to be changed. I think the only number that's significantly changed, or at least maybe a little bit, but not by much. Seems like the only thing that's changed significantly is the traders themselves. Well, Sahilda is coming to the settlement next. Looks like at least the lizards are very happy. Love to see it. There's only two of them, but at least we get some additional points. Wow, a whole lot of it too. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm a little too focused on trading here, but some of the alternative options were not very viable either. Like the ones where you have to keep people happy for a certain amount of time. I don't say I, I don't think those are really viable options. Yeah, you have to keep people happy for some of the task objectives, but... Hey, this button is now also grayed out. Normally it disappeared. Okay, nice. Yeah, some of the tasks in this game, some of the orders, they, uh, they kind of mess you up. Some of them you can basically only get after you're already winning the game. Which seemed a bit silly. I definitely want to do farming here if possible, but... We'll set it up. Otherwise some of my dudes are doing nothing. Yeah, man. Raging King knows what's up. Thank you, Rage. Happiness? Happiness is a byproduct, okay? Of productivity. What's going on, a thrift? Thank you very much for the tier one subscription. I appreciate you. Welcome. How many planks are you guys making? I see. I see you guys making planks the entire time. Where does it all go? Interesting. I'm only making one structure that costs... This one costs a little bit, this one costs a little bit. No idea where it is. My planks are disappearing, guys. A little bit suspicious. Thank you, by the way, for the support, Wesley. Hey, nice, Whistly. You just found this game four days ago and you've already got 24 hours in it? Yeah, it's a sweet game, dude. It gets a little bit boring after some time, though, I found. But maybe your uh, experience will be a little bit different. I mean, it's a roguelike, right? So at some point, you'll probably grow a little tired of it.
Um, how much does the lumber mill cost? Yeah, so sadly I have no way of creating fabric here. And without fabric I can't really do much. So... I don't know. What's going on, Infortune? Welcome. What's going on, Menderol? Thanks for all your content. Have a nice end of 2022. Yo, you too, man. Thank you so much. I think I, I think I'm already I think I'm already screwed. Like the RNG is both the selling point as well as my main frustration with the game, which is kind of ironic, I guess. I guess that's the gambling problem, right? So Hilda, do you sell anything? No, this is definitely not an RTS. Maybe Sahelda gives me something good, guys, but I don't know. I've already had this ability trigger once, and it's gonna trigger a second time, so I think it's already GG, right? And now I'm basically crossing my fingers and hoping Sahilda is selling me these items. It's not a very good strat, I'll be honest with you. As much as I like Sahilda, I don't know if we can rely on her. Ooh, well this is really good. A petrified tree. Destroys all stored wood. Okay, well that one's totally fine. I guess I'll go for this one. Because we're still pretty early in this run. Maybe I can salvage it, but... Look at all this though, this is really nice. Clothier over here as well. Tons of amazing uh, structures here. So Hilda, please save my run! So Hilda, I need you to sell some things. And I, I need to be able to actually afford them too, so I, I don't know what I'm what my plan is, but uh, say Hilda. Now calling her and taking on additional impatience is not a good idea, I don't think. I don't even know if I can afford it, man. So she sells a lot of food. She'll probably also sell um Simple tools, but I need 12 of those and I don't think I have 12. I don't even think I can buy 12 even if I sell everything She doesn't sell them She doesn't sell them two traders in a row do not sell any of the items I need to solve this one objective point that I unlocked at the two-minute mark Normally, at least there's an option for like, I don't know, coal, for example, but... She doesn't sell oil, no incense, no scrolls, no tools. Um, God, it's all so expensive, holy crap. Yeah, this run is GG. I'll just let it run. I'll just keep it going, but... I don't think there's a whole lot I can do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I mean, I'm getting loads of these trading route ones, which is kind of sweet. That one's unreasonable. This one's doable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, it's RNG, right? Like, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Plan B was hoping that the items would be sold by the traders, but since they don't get sold by the traders... There's no option.
So this is just gonna trigger every time now. There's a full bar. And now another 10 minutes go by. I'm low on food. I'm not gonna waste my money on food. Something as trivial as food? Are you kidding me? Just don't eat. That was good on Truck Zoli. You think I deserve way more viewers and attention? I'm very happy where I'm at, dude. But, uh... Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Glad you enjoy it. I guess I can make a small herbalist camp over here. No, I'm pretty damn happy with the size of my stream, man. Can't complain. I mean, there's always, like, it's easy to always compare how many viewers you get to how many viewers other people get. But for the most part, I stopped doing that a long time ago, because it doesn't really get you anywhere. It doesn't really do much. Plus, there's a lot of people that have a ton of viewers, but then all of the viewers that watch are just complete dicks. Or bots? Yeah, guys like Echo Soldier, I mean... Is that really what you want, guys? Is that really what you want? A man with so much vision, but blind for his own mistakes? Nah, dude. We've got an awesome little community here. Hey, thank you, Integral. Pretty much everyone is cool here except that Brian guy. Yeah, fuck that Brian guy. I think this would have been really good, right? I think we got memed, guys. Like, I'm looking at, at desperate ways to solve this one, but... At least the tree is solved. Harpy resolve is low. Just how desperate are you? Very desperate. I mean, this would have been fine if it wasn't for this one over here. I'm just taking too much damage. Yeah, I think we're gonna salvage this one. Abandon. I got absolutely nothing. Sweet. Oh, actually, abandoning it does not complete this full cycle here at the bottom, so that's actually kind of nice, I guess. Um, let's let's just go again, I guess. We can literally do the exact same thing. I'm assuming we do not get any more. Like, I'm assuming it's not a direct copy to what we just played, right? 
That'd be kind of funny, but... Okay, let's see. Gain one free cornerstone reroll for every reputation point gained during drizzle. Okay, every danger is okay. The penalty is added retroactively. Why would that be the case? It's always already there. Anyways. Uh, woodcutters cut trees down faster, but have a 100% chance of re Whoa, okay, the rain is cutting- okay, I see. Blight Rot cysts consume this storm's energy and become more resilient. The forest will claim a villager's life during each storm. Multiplied by the amount of years that have passed. Okay! Hey! Now they're really close to... what? That's weird. Was that a bug or was that intentional, you think? Now they're really close to get her again. Interesting. Okay, we're doing the same thing again. Just need to not get unlucky this time around, I guess. Not a very reliable way of doing things, but... That's been the story of my life. It's a patch that the starting pattern is semi-randomized? I see. That's kind of cool, actually. I guess there are a couple layouts here. Hello. They're actually very active, though, the developers, that is. They've been putting in tons of content ever since I started playing it, like, a month ago. Love to see that. Okay. Um... Let's go with that. I could probably get some grain. Okay, that one's kind of difficult to pull off. Maybe. Hmm. No, I think this one is actually a little bit better. I don't want to be too reliant on trading though. He says while well, doing trading tasks. No, I think it's fine. Okay, that one's nice. This one would be fantastic if I got it ever so slightly later. I think I'll go for the simple tools over here. That one's pretty easy to pull off. Ooh, look at that. A double whammy. Never unlock two of those in one go, but here we are. Uh, I should once again, by the way, disable my consumption here of, yeah, coal. Please be something I can actually get rid of. There you go. Coal is this time around an option. Fantastic. When your villagers' needs are met, harmony is fostered. Each unique service building adds two to global resolve. Counts as nine decorations of its type. Damn. This is really nice. But I think that one's even nicer. Oh, oh no. That will be helpful in the late game. Is that a workshop? Oh no, it's a tool shop. Okay. Okay. You guys don't have to cut into any uh, glades here for some time. Okay, let's have a look. I found the ranch to be really nice. In some of my situations, I don't know. Solving food problems has been, yeah, has been really doable with this. Um, I need plant fiber for it though, so... Kinda difficult to reliably get plant fiber. Eh. I'll pick it. I 
don't really like any of these. Um, there is grain, there are roots, and there are... No, there's no vegetables. Wish I could re-roll it. I guess I'll get oil, but... Okay. We could do a herb garden. I haven't done a herb garden in forever. Hope you had a great Christmas and Happy New Year. Yo, thank you very much, Psycho. You too, man. Thank you for the 21. Hope you're doing all right. Welcome back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the basic unit producing or unit producing structures. The basic production structures. One reroll is 10 gold. Yeah, the second one is a lot more. Hey, nice, Gabe. The God of War playthrough is gonna go up on the on the YouTube channel? I knew nothing of this. The service on the plane reached another level. The flight attendant asked me out of nowhere if I wanted headphones. Of course I said yes. But I still don't know how she knew my name was Phones. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I... No! No! No kick W's allowed. That was disgusting and filthy. Kick W free channel. Alright, um, I need to make sure I get my... Trading po- if you guys by the way need Muktavaz out of this stream, I mean, uh, just say the word. We'll, uh, get him banned. Right away. No second chances. We don't believe in second chances on this channel. Second chances, also known as a weakness. There you go. One second timeout. Get wrecked, Noctovus. And thank you for the $3, by the way. I appreciate you. I thought the dryer was shrinking my clothes. Turns out it was the refrigerator. No, Raging King, you gotta work on your puns, man. Maybe you can go to, like, pun school. That is not a pun. That is still funny, though. So, <laughs> But maybe I have really low standards. Did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? He just wanted a bit more space. I did not hear of that guy, no. What's going on, Minimum Mage? Welcome to the stream. Did you ever hear about the Raging King? He wanted to make good puns, but he couldn't. <laughs> God, that was so funny, dude. That was so good. Do you write these yourself, Meerkats? I could tell. Um, I thought what you were supposed to do was just Google your puns. No? Was Forrest Gump's password? One Forrest one? Speaking of Forrest Gump, I started watching um, Castaway yesterday. I've never seen Castaway for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, uh, I don't know. Um, pretty damn good movie, guys. I'm sure everybody already knew that. We're about halfway through right now. This is a pretty long one. But, um... I mean, it's not really that long of a movie, but since I have a zoomer attention span, I get tired halfway through a movie. You know how it is. Oh, 
You don't know how it is? Okay. Blend fiber is a real problem in this world. You haven't seen the full movie, but you know about Wilson and FedEx? I knew about Wilson. What game did I play some time ago where Wilson was part of it too? Was it Raft? I thought it was Raft. I love movies, says Yogan. I cannot understand why people fall asleep in the middle of a movie. I fell asleep in the cinema once when I was super tired. That was in the end of... was it? Um... What was the name? Rogue One? Star Wars Rogue One? Yeah, that's it. I ended up falling asleep during the final part, and I missed the moment where apparently Darth Vader shows up. <laughs> I did, like, that was the, uh, apparently the best part of the movie I missed. I'm not big on, like, Star Wars movies in general, man. I don't know what it is, guys. I feel like a bit of a heretic saying that, but, like... Not huge on sci-fi, which is kind of funny because, uh, you know, what I do. <laughs> I, yeah, I've always been more of a fantasy kind of guy, yeah. Avengers? I don't care about superhero movies very much. Nope, I don't really, uh, I don't know. Not huge in superheroes. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Yo, happy birthday, War Gunner. That's awesome, dude. War Gunner 1997. So I'm assuming you turned 25? Ah, oh, he's still in the strength of his life, guys. You just wait, you young whippersnapper, or whatever, I don't know. I have seen Braveheart, yeah, Braveheart is a pretty sick movie. Well, I mean, I watched Braveheart ages ago. I remember when I was 25, I felt identical to how I feel right now. Oh, to be young again. Those were the days. Old fucking Varlov. Oh yeah, now you sell them, huh? Now you sell them, you son of a... Uh, it's a joke, it's, an, it's just a joke, Varlov. But like, now you do, is all I'm saying, okay? Last time, when I needed them, he didn't. Fucking far love, dude. Not literally, mind you. Definitely not. Anyways, I would like to buy all of this, but it's become very expensive. I don't want to sell all my stuff just to get some of your things. Here, you can have that. You can you can have these as well. My God, bro. It is basically pointless now to trade, isn't it? That's actually not fun. I don't like the fact that trading is now pointless. I mean, it's way too expensive. 40 for a smelter. I mean, you need to be very desperate. The only reason why you trade is desperation. But that means you're more reliant on RNG. Because you just need to get lucky with some of the spawns and some of the things in general. Hmm. Maybe I'm misplaying it, I don't know. Yeah, trade routes are still the same, right? Trade routes still seem to give me a lot of stuff. But the traders themselves are kind of pointless now. Um, That definitely forces me to change. 
Yeah, my... Yeah, you can use trade routes for more money. But... That is definitely a little bit annoying. No, this game is very different. You don't want to survive as long as possible. You just want to survive until you win. Okay. This one gives me the alchemist hut. This one's not reasonable either, though. I guess I'll pick that one. I don't have the artisan. These, these I don't like, because the only reason why you would have 22 resolve on your heart piece is if you're already doing a great job. I can assign some people here to get this thing done. Um, should I take the box of simple tools, actually? Mm, probably not. No, I should probably rebuild. Uh, this is Prestige Difficulty 9, Rayman. Right, 